What's up, y'all? It's been a minute. How you doing? How's your mama now? How's your family? How's your brother's sister? Your friends and everybody? Yo, glad to see y'all. Glad to be back. Um, so, I got a real special treat for y'all today. So, what's going on is, um, I've been like kind of incognito, like, you know, off social media, like on and off, but pretty much off YouTube for a while because I've been getting something ready for y'all. And y'all are gonna love this, what I have next planned for this year, 2022. Alright, so, um, let me stop going rambling and everything and let's get into it. This is gonna be pretty much a truck build of what I have going on for the year. So, without further ado, let me show you what I got in the garage. So, y'all already know how I love my big baby right here, you know. I don't really have a nickname for her. I just call her Big Baby because, you know, she's big. But this is my 1994 Chevrolet K1500 and Z71, also known as pretty much, you know, the Silverado. So, I got a 16-inch lift kit on it, which is a BDS lift kit, 35-inch tires, 16-inch rims. It has a few like you know little beauty marks like you know that little crack right there um hit a tree but this right here is the main thing that i'm excited about i thank god for this right here this is a camper shell that's actually made for my year make model truck when well, i say really year if you know about the the k1500 series you know they made the same years like the OBS from 1988 to 1998 so this fits perfectly right here like, look at that seam line down there perfectly I'm gonna show you the inside a little bit soon but show you all around here how it just goes so well with the truck even as far as let me Hop up here for y'all. So right there, where I have the cutout for the brake light. This right here is a level shell camper. So pretty much, you know, level with the cab, cab high, as what the ARE will say. And yeah, it is the ARE camper shell. So this is what I was looking for right here. I actually got it for a really good deal. I've been searching for months, months, and months. People actually said I've been searching for it for like honestly years. Um, I can't deny or confirm that. I maybe have a kind of like you know just said I right, I'm never gonna find it, so I'm just gonna give up on it. But for like the last I'm gonna say six months, I've been diligent about trying to find this camper shirt right here. It has everything that I want. So. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you so you can see everything about it. Alright, and let me tell you the price I got it for too. The price I got it for was $200. That's right, I said it. $200. Okay? So, and it's, this thing has no cracks or nothing in it. It has a slight leak up in the front window but that's that's easy fix basically all you gotta do is take some silicone 
put a thin bead around it and that's it it's done so i mean what like a 15 dollars stick if that come on now but let's go get into it so t handle right there and the shocks are both good love it so this right here they basically had a third brake light which is that right there next to it but i'm gonna go ahead and like you know splice into that and drill a hole like probably through here somewhere and put it into my actual brake light so i can have a third brake light up here um this is gonna be the start of everything i don't want to give away too much stuff that i'm gonna be doing with this but some people already pretty much know what i'm be doing with this whole build okay so let's go ahead and uh, hop up in here so there we go you got the screen right here and the windows slide ever so greatly so smoothly right there it has just a tiny little the tear right here maybe when the previous owner was like loading something in here and maybe scratched it but that's nothing that's not a big deal the leak that i was talking about is coming from like right around here i may be talking about the screws or whatnot but that's not a problem like i said before there are no cracks in this thing show the other window right here close little tab Slide it, and there that is, and that's pretty much it right there. Like, I don't know what's going up in here. I guess he was probably smoking back here and putting out the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say he was smoking cigarettes, okay? But he probably smoked something else, and just you know putting the on um, the buds out right there on the top. I don't know why he didn't want to put it out in the bottom of the bed. Who knows? Hey, whatever, right? <laughs> so let's see what else I'm gonna show you. And uh, so I curved that part of the serial number right there. But you see right there, 1998 Chevy Silverado, extended cab, short bed. That's the main thing I was looking for. This thing is gonna be dope, like. The hint about it is, I'm going. I'm I'm doing what I'm doing right now. That's the that's the big hint, okay? But let's go and close this one back up, cause I got some work to do. I just want to come up on here and make a short little video about my new addition to the fleet. All right, and get a little warm up here. Let out. Close this one back up. See, they close good. Solid. Come on now, that's solid. Ah. Look at this other one. Watch how smooth this clothes. That's like brand spanking new. You can't ask me anything better than that. Going back over this a little bit again, you can see there are no cracks in the bottom glass at all. This thing is in pristine condition minus that one minor leak like pristine condition I need to say i'm gonna have fun with this like and i hope you all are going to be enjoying the content i'm gonna put out with this build this is going to be something that i always wanted to do and hopefully i can inspire some of y'all to do the same thing too I mean, who knows? Like, hey, we just trying to go outside and have some fun and have some tight lines, you know? That's the only thing we're trying to do. Of course, spread love and the order people. Always. Let's go ahead and hop up out of here. All right. Close back up. <laughs> Watch how it closes. 
Boom. Now the only other thing I had to do when I actually got this camper was I actually had to um to get a key made, which was fairly easy. I mean, they gave me two keys for I think it was like twenty dollars. Um, so I got two keys made for this right here, a spare key and a man key, and you see that right there. Locks good. So that's real good right there. Um, you see like these tiny little nicks. I mean, but other than that, like the paint is it's better than the paint on my actual truck. So I want to say they actually had this garage kept, if I'm not mistaken. Like you see right here, this tiny little nick right here, tiny little nick right there. That's nothing right there. Let's pop up on top, and that one long scratch right there. And that ain't nothing. But this is something right here that talking about. <laughs> it's something right here that I'm excited about. I can't wait to get this in, in this build. Like I'm gonna take out a lot of steps to do what I'm doing with this too. Like I ain't gonna be on in dark. Believe it. All right. Hey, until next time though, tight lines, stay blessed, and talk to you later. All right.